。每年台北国际电脑展 （Computex） 除了科技大厂在摊位秀出最新技术，还会不定期的举办论坛。像是作业系统大厂微软，由于在台湾有许多的合作伙伴，因此电脑展期间，总部的高层也亲自来到台北秀出最新产品，也预告接下来的科技发展，包括像是 MR 混合实境，还有 AI 人工智慧等等。台湾的厂商需要抓紧哪些趋势？今天的关键对话特别邀请到微。微软掌握合作伙伴装置的副总裁 Peter h o m e 请看我们今天的独家专访。关键时刻掌握关键对话，大家好，我是思翰。在今年的 Computex 呢，其实有五大主题哦，而其中有一项就是虚拟实境。而其实呢，去年走过 VR 元年，今年也正好是各家大厂他们加速要扩充软硬体的最佳时机。而国际大厂微软，他们也找了许多品牌的合作伙伴，像是台湾的双 A 等等，要来共同发展一个 MR 混合实境的生态圈。除此之外，还有包括 AI 以及物联网等等，也都是微软今年要抢攻的重点。究竟接下来会怎么走？我们今天很荣幸的为您邀请到了微软的合作伙伴、装置及解决方案副总裁 Peter Han 来聊聊微软的看法与布局。Hello, Peter. Nice to meet you. Hi everyone. I'm Peter Han. I'm the Vice President of Partner Devices and Solutions at Microsoft. First of all, we started from the Computex because, like every year this time, Microsoft will come to Taiwan, join the Computex, and also have the keynote. So, could you give some highlight of the keynote today? And also, like, what did you see, or what are the trends you see here this year in Computex? Sure, we're really excited to be here. Computex is a huge show for us every year because it brings together so many people from across our ecosystem. OEMs, ODMs, IHVs, channel partners. Everyone comes to see what's new, what the, where the innovation is going. The big things I would say about both the show and our keynote this year are changes that we see in terms of new devices,、uh, new experiences, and、um, new categories. In terms of the new devices, we were excited to show the new Samsung、uh, Pro 9、uh, laptop, some of the new、uh, HMDs from ASUS and Dell, and、uh, the new Cortana、uh, speaker puck from HP. So some really interesting new devices. In terms of new features, we talked about the Windows 10 Fall Creators Update, which is going to bring all kinds of new capabilities in terms of mixed reality, 3D for everyone, and some other things like inking、uh, and Windows Hello. And then finally, in terms of new categories, of course, we talked across the frontiers of voice, vision, and thought. We talked about the ways we'll be interacting with PCs via voice and Cortana, our intelligent assistant. We talked about、uh, the Windows Mixed Reality and some of the vision technologies, and we talked about、uh, things around the Internet of Things. So Windows and Azure IoT transforming both businesses and smart home scenarios in a variety of ways. And you also see some like MR devices this year, right? A, a lot of MR devices. A, a year ago, we came to Computex specifically to ask this ecosystem to join us in building Windows Mixed Reality. It's been amazing to see Taiwanese companies react. Uh, a number of ODMs and OEMs have brought their HMDs to market. We'll be bringing them to out this holiday at Christmas time, and in addition, we're going to also now pair them with controllers, mixed reality controllers, as well as a, a variety of experiences that will really change the way people interact with their PCs. Let's talk about the MR, like because Acer from Taiwan they released like the first MR headset like month month before I think months ago I think that's right yeah and so later this year there will also be like some other partner to show their new MR device so、um, how many partner do we have now or like how many device can we like expect to see in this year so today we announced five OEMs who will uh, release uh, head mounted displays this holiday. Um, we're still working behind the scenes with a, a variety of others, so that, that number may change. But today we announced five.、Uh, Acer got some really nice press because they have that $399 US dollar bundle for the HMDs paired with the controllers. That's a disruptively better experience at disruptively lower pricing than some of the alternatives in the market. So you just mentioned about the price because, like the. Uh, the MR headset, the price people say that maybe you were like around three hundred to four hundred dollars US dollars, and compared to the like a high-end VR device or the Hololens, the price is really really different. So, what's the positioning of such device? So you're right. That's a disruptively better price, meaning lower than competitive alternatives. The positioning is it really just broadens the market. Windows has always been the the Operating system for everyone. It's the big tent. We welcome a really diverse and open ecosystem. We we don't want technology to be restricted to the hands of a few. We don't want people to have to pay a lot of money to access it. We want to be able to open those experiences in mixed reality to as broad a, a, a class as possible. And we're really doing that with these partners who are bringing these、uh, HMDs and controllers to market. 
And but now in the market, we see more like a VR or AR device compared to MR device. So when can we see like a significant or booming growth of the MR market? Well, it starts this holiday. You know, we, we started uh, at Computex last year with a design in. Now we're getting close to the sell-in, where we actually take these products to market. We, we show them to the retailers and the channel partners, and they in turn sell it to the end public. So um, we expect this to be a big holiday for Windows Mixed Reality. And then certainly as we move into 2018 and beyond, probably next year's Computex, we'll have a lot more announcements to show the progress. Will that affect like the AR or VR part, or it's like you think it's different? You know, I, I think everyone's got different vocabulary. Um, we, we've had a lot of conversations around uh, augmented reality and virtual reality, but Windows Mixed Reality is really a vision where we encompass it all. You know, we take uh, elements of a virtual world, we take elements of a physical world, and we mix them together. So what that means is you don't have to retreat from one or the other. You're able to take uh, avatars or icons from the virtual world and place them within your physical environment. You're, you don't necessarily have to withdraw from the room in which you're actually sitting. And so we, we view that as a better experience. And then we want to move to the AR because AR is also another trendy topic this year. So um, can, you, can we talk about like a Cortana device or like a Invoke? This kind of device, the roadmap of this device and the potential partnership. Yeah, we're really excited about where Cortana is going. Um, as we announced today, we have the Harman Kardon speaker with a premium experience, 360 degree sound, uh, enabling users to connect to their music, their calendar, their Skype calls. So really cool array of things that you can do with that speaker. At the same time, we also have Cortana designed into over 500 million Windows 10 PCs. We see 145 million people using Cortana every single month. What's the strength of Cortana? They're com competitive with the like other AI because there's a lot of AI now in the market, like uh, Alexa, Siri, love, things like that. Where is our strength? Yeah, Cortana's got a few strengths. First, it's got great speech recognition. We have an incredible uh, amount of R&D that we do at Microsoft to make sure that it picks up the, the speech patterns of a variety of uh, speakers. And so that's one differentiator. The second is the experience itself. Cortana is, the, is consistent across devices. And then the third is the way that it actually works with, it's integrated with software experiences. So I mentioned your calendar, which is Microsoft Outlook. I mentioned Skype calls, which are a way of doing telephony through your, uh, on a digital basis. And these are things that uh, not every digital assistant has the skill to do. And so these are extensions essentially of the AI platform. And if Sony's company will like cooperate in this area, what should we do? Yes, we've had a lot of conversations with different Taiwanese companies about how to build on Cortana. We've really welcomed them all and we welcome more to come. We have a Cortana SDK, which we'll be making available shortly to the ecosystem, so that ODMs and OEMs, as they think about their calendar 2018 plans, we'd certainly like to talk to them about some of the things that we'll build together. Okay, then we move to PC, because like the, during the build 2017, that we announced the uh, Windows 10 S, and some people consider it as like a rivaling uh, Chromebook. Yes, yeah, so is that also because that we, um, we focus on the education market, or what is our focus target? Yeah, Windows 10 S is really, uh, it's got a few differentiators. First, we, it's the simplest version of Windows. So it's got the very streamlined approach with the Windows Store and the browser to enable a very uh, simplified experience. Second, it's the most secure Windows because it, locks down uh, apps and doesn't uh, allow malware to be downloaded. It prevents some of the viruses that spread that have been in the news recently. Um, third, it's got superior performance. So the vision is for Windows 10 S PCs to be the exact same performance on day 1000 as they are on day one. As we all know, some, some devices over time, the performance degrades because of so many things that get uh, downloaded onto the PC. Windows 10 S will have a different approach. And so we, we expect that performance to stay really, really strong. And so, we think it's the, the, the best version of Windows. Um, we think it's going to start in education, but we expect it also over time to expand to consumer and also commercial uses. We expect a lot of different uh, scenarios to arise for Windows 10 S. So in conclusion, can you tell us about like, uh, is there any like big thing we miss of Microsoft we announced this year, you think? Our portfolio has become so much more diverse than it was a few years ago. We're talking to the companies here in, in Taiwan about such a broader array of solutions. We expect that to continue. So is there like a big plan related to Taiwan's uh, company or like partners? Well, certainly, uh, you know, there's a, such a big uh, ecosystem here. Uh, you mentioned Acer, Asus on the OEM side. Certainly you've got uh, large ODMs like Quanta uh, and Compal. And we're going to be working with them. But also there's a long list of IoT solution providers, uh, some of whom we, we featured today, 
that we expect to really be doing all kinds of business, both in the core PC segments as well as the frontiers of voice, vision, and thought. Really nice to talk to you, and thanks for your time. 其实有很多人说，在现今的社会里面，你不能只是硬体做得好，或者是软体是你的强项，你必须要软硬整合才能够发挥竞争力。而看到微软，他们是从个人电脑的作业系统，一直延伸到虚拟实境，或者是 AI 人工智慧等等，野心不小。而台湾的厂商要怎么切入合作，并且发挥自己在硬体上面的优势，也是在国际的舞台上面要发光发热的重要关键。今天的关键对话，我们带您从作业系统大厂微软的角度来抓紧未来的科技趋势，也看台厂如何抢得先机。我们先休息一下，广告过后继续回到新闻现场。